Well, here we are the day after the uh, Bark in the Dark, the uh, Blue Cross sponsored walk that we did last night. Um, what it is, is they have a, in one of the forests, Sherwood Pines, near, near where I live, they uh, have a walk in the dark, it's a five kilometre walk, um, and the idea is you, you wear a head torch and the dogs have some sort of illuminated collar or uh, flashy um, tag while they walk in the dark. I thought I'd go one better this year, for this one and uh, make them a uh, dog coat, an amazing technical dog coat. So, just put the light up. So, this is uh, Eddie's coat, as you can see. It's wore it yesterday, it's still covered in mud where it fastened underneath him because it was a bit damp. So, uh, so what I've got is we've cut a coat out of some material. And then I've got these strips of these addressable LEDs, uh, they're called NeoPixels and various other things, off eBay. I bought five metres. Um, and they're an individual individual lamps and they're sort of in a series. Um, so it starts here. So you've got three signals, you have five volts, ground, five volts on the ground, and then a data signal. Uh, and the data goes from one LED to the next one. As you can see, it says... D O D in so data out data in and it's basically a shift shift register arrangement so came on a reel oops I'm getting focus came on a reel of uh, five meters in length so it's not focusing not really doing very well there you go um, so I went dog coat and basically I cooked various strips and then at the end of each of the strips the I've got a, a wire that joins the next strip, goes along that one to the next one, and goes along. So that's that's LED one, and on this one I've got six six rows of uh, twelve LEDs. So and each of the elements is is three red, green, and a blue LED in each one of those uh, near pixel elements, and you can turn them on. So so I say we had a there's the dog coat, it's on the dog, and then a bit of Heath Robinson this, uh, there was a, a cable that went was fastened to the dog lead, and then at the end of the dog lead I uh, had a box with a little Arduino Uno in it, get it focused, so um, some batteries, and then a li that's a little um, boost, uh, book boost, converter and the idea of that was to uh, take the the voltage from that battery convert it to five volts and keep it at five volts even if the uh, the battery went down uh, went below five volts very unlikely um, and that also fed the arduino so it's actually about 4.6 volts i think it's set on so and then on the arduino uh, i've got a little program using the uh, fast led library which allows you to uh, do all sorts of things with the um, lights. So, so I say it's three wires, ground five volts, and then the data signal. The data signal's coming off one of the pins that's soldered on the back of the Arduino there. So Arduino Uno. So, uh, so that was the LEDs. Now just turn the lights off. Turn that one off. Okay, in its full glory. So it was a big hit and everybody was asking me where I got them from. I made two of them. There was two, one for each of the dogs, Bertie and Eddie. So, so amazingly they worked. The only issue I did have was the... I'd made a connector there um, so that I could put the coat on and then attach the lead and connect it up. Um, that connection proved a little bit unreliable so I just put it in some lacy tape to keep it secure. And then uh, a little bit of movement on this battery pack because I hadn't padded it caused one of the leads to break off. But I was able to, uh, in the dark, with my head torch, manage to uh, wedge it on one of the batteries. So I kept it going. So, so there you go. So, so uh, try and improve one for next year.
Give me a press, mate.